Bienvenidos. Welcome to beautiful Cozumel. Tree collectors and welcome back if you're new here thanks for stopping by and make sure to press that subscribe button to join the family today we're gonna be taking you all around Cozumel to our favorite spots it's gonna be quite the adventure we hope you packed your snorkel and sunscreen but before we get started how do you get here once in Playa del Carmen, head to the ferry pier downtown. Here you'll find two ferry companies, Windjet and Ultramar. Right now, due to the current situation, services are less frequent, departing every one to two hours. The first ferry to Cozumel is at 8 a.m. and the last one back to PDC is normally at 10. You can check their full schedules online. The cost of the Ultramar ferry tickets are 250 pesos one way, approximately 13 US dollars for the regular fare. Once on the ferry, you can choose to sit covered inside or upstairs on the open air decks. The beautiful voyage takes 40 minutes. Once to Cozumel, you can pay a porter to bring your luggage to a taxi or take it yourself. Welcome to paradise. If you're wondering what Cozumel means, and I know I was, it means Island of Swallows in the original Mayan. When you get off the ferry, the first thing you notice are these giant golden birds. Turns out they're swallows. It makes sense now. All right, now that we're here, it's time for some fun. First thing on the agenda is fueling up. If you follow Lisa Holmesy on Instagram, you know she was just in Cozumel, and her favorite thing is the peanut butter coffee from Cos Coffee. So we're gonna head there and see what the fuss is all about. Come with us. This is so exciting for me. Peanut butter is one of my absolute favorites. They take fresh coffee that they roast on the premises, they put it through a French press, then they blend in peanut butter and give you this delicious beverage. Let's try it out. Whoa, that is like a peanut butter punch in the mouth and I like it. I feel skippy. <laughs> <laughs> now that we're fueled up, we wanna show you how to get around. Cozumel is the third biggest island in Mexico, so walking and biking might not be the best option, especially for me. <laughs> yeah, it's about 30 miles long, 10 miles wide, and it takes an hour and a half to drive the circumference. There's a ton of transportation options here, and we're gonna show you those right now. From Jeeps, VW Beetles, buggies, and scooters, Cozumel has it all. We noticed a lot of fluctuation in pricing between rental companies, so we would advise you to shop around a bit. Whichever transport option you choose, make sure to take a video of the outside and inside so if anything is to happen, you have proof of the condition you received it in. We chose to see the island by scooter, costing us $17 for the day and $6 to fill. All right, let's start exploring. Chances are, if you've heard the name Cozumel, you've heard it's famed for its diving. The crystal clear water here averages between 115 and 200 feet of visibility. That's, That's crazy. crazy. Look how blue it is behind us. We got a little tidbit that there is a dive shop here where you can head in, grab tanks, and go from shore. So Shout out Vegan Voyagers. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna head in there now, come along with us. We're down at Tequila Beach Bar and Restaurant. Downstairs from the restaurant, they have access to beautiful shore diving. This is not a dive shop, but they do offer rentals of equipment and tanks. So if you wanna come snorkeling or go for a shore dive and you're a certified diver, this is the place for you. Let's check it out. Looks like perfect conditions. Let's get under there and see what sort of underwater magic we can find. But first, we have to gear up. All right, time for our buddy check. Final check. Fins, mask, fun, got it all. Let's head in.
incredible. Incredible. Honestly, some <laughs> the of the best visibility. Oh, Jeez. man. And we only stayed at like 15 feet. Yeah. But you saw it on there. You saw the artificial reefs, and they were cleaning them. We saw Jacques Cousteau. So much. I mean, how do you? How can you go <laughs> wrong with Jacques Cousteau on your dive? Oh, I'm so glad you joined us on that dive. Thanks for staying close to us. I hate when I lose my dive buddy. <laughs> we 100% recommend scuba diving. It's opened up our world so much more. Three quarters of the planet is underwater. If you can't dive, you can't even access that. <laughs> yeah. Come on, people. Come Become on, people. a diver. Be a diver. We love you. Come diving with us. The dive's over, but the fun isn't. We're going to hop back on our scooter and head to the southernmost point on the island. Can't wait. I hope you're ready. Is it inappropriate to be showering with my girlfriend in our YouTube channel? <laughs> Don't drink too much tequila. <laughs> no, you do. You do, you do. You're on vacation. Nobody knows you. Don't worry. <laughs> that was so much fun. So we're going to hop on this motorbike. Well, we're already on it. Well, I guess we're already on it. <laughs> Head with us to Punta Sur. Here we go. All along the beach, they have these great beach clubs. You can normally just pay a fee and go in and enjoy their amenities for the day. Some are great for adults, some are great for kids, and some are great for everybody. Let's go check one out. We are at Sky Reef Beach Club. They don't charge an entrance fee here. All you have to do is purchase something to eat and drink to hang out for the day. They also offer packages starting at $20 that include snorkel gear, one drink, a five minute massage, and a tequila tasting, all the way up to an all-inclusive $65 package that offers all you can eat and drink for four hours. The facilities look beautiful, the water's crystal blue, looks like a great spot. Definitely check it out when you come to Cozumel. Let's keep going. We're like being super amateur today. We forgot everything. We don't have sunscreen. Water, <laughs> didn't bring snacks. <laughs> like the basics. We're breaking all of our rules today and it's because we are so excited to show you the island. <laughs> I'm excited. So we're gonna have to pay like 20 bucks for a sunscreen now. Bring your sunscreen, <laughs> bring water, save yourself a couple bucks and yeah. stay hydrated people. $17. <laughs> Sorry, Adam. Hey, it's worth it to keep this angel skin not getting too crispy. Thank you. Went on a water run since we forgot ours. <sighs> Electrolytes, baby. Ow, brain freeze. You need a brain to freeze. Ha ha ha. Yesterday we were driving and we saw this little hut and it said Mexican tacos. Um, is there another kind of taco? In Mexico, it should just say tacos, right? I I, th I feel like it should just say tacos. Let's go check it out. We're coming up to it. Here it is, Mexican tacos here. Finally made it here in Mexico. We found Mexican tacos. <laughs> Unbelievable, I've been searching for months. Wait, what kind of tacos have we been eating this whole time? <laughs> He said that the Camarone ones were his favorite. That means shrimp. Mm -hmm. And I've never had an actual Mexican taco apparently, so this <laughs> should be really good. Honestly, I think it's great marketing. If it just said tacos, you're like, okay, tacos. It says Mexican tacos, and you're like, hell yeah, I want some authentic Mexican tacos, so good job, guys. <laughs> I know we were giggling at the names, but wow, these look so good. And they come with three different types of spices, medium, caliente and dos problemas. One problem going in and one problem coming out. Ew, well you can't have that one. <laughs> I'm ready to jump in. This guy seems to like them. Um... Seriously, these tacos are unbelievable. This whole meal was $5 with the chips, salsa, and two of these delicious shrimp tacos. So when you're driving around and you see this Mexican taco booth, pull over. And if you're a passenger, you can get a beer to go for $1. Gracias, Arturo. Thank you, senor. You have a nice day. You too. One of the most important things when you go to a place is helping to support the local economy. You could eat at your hotel, you could eat in town at one of these big restaurants, or you could stop by and see Arturo at the Mexican taco stand. Now that we're filled up, let's get back on the road. leave town there are two roads you have the highway and the auxiliary road we've been driving on the auxiliary road you can drive on it at a slower speed and it's where all the hotels are after this point however which is right after Playa Palancar you can no longer drive on it 
anywhere on the island. Yesterday, we made the mistake of thinking you could when we got a little farther down. We followed a police officer off the road. A couple minutes later, he actually stopped us and was going to give us a ticket. One of us talked him out of the ticket. Yeah, he's a little sweet talker, all right. It's really easy to be confused. You might even see some people driving on the auxiliary road, but don't do it. After this point, just say no. Stay on the road, stay safe, and let the bicyclists enjoy their time. Say no to auxiliary roads. Hey, need a ride? Yeah, where are you going? Heading down to Punta Sur. Hop on back. Woohoo! We made it! We are at Punta Sur, the southernmost point on Cozumel. And here is the Punta Sur Eco Beach Club. You gotta pay in cash, so make sure you bring it with you. <laughs> it's 16 US dollars or 288 pesos each. The admission includes the tower in the crocodile site, the Mayan rings, the lighthouse is possible walking, and the museum. Include all the service in the beach area chairs, umbrellas, palapas, showers, restrooms, hammocks, life jackets. It's including the price and include a tour around the lagoon, Colombia. Does it include one baby crocodile for me? Yeah, <laughs> it's possible to swim with cro cro crocodiles. Really? Yeah, sir. Oh but maybe gosh. not get out. <laughs> no, <after>. no, <laughs> sorry, no. Muchas <laughs> gracias, senor. Wow, that sounds great. Yeah, let's get this started. Let's do it. So from the entrance, it's a three mile drive. So far, so beautiful. So we just got some confirmation from this guy that there is in fact a crocodile here. Let's go check it out. What's really surprising about Cozumel is that only a small portion of it is developed and the rest of the island is all natural forest, mangroves, lagoons. Oh look, there's the crocodile. It looks huge! How neat is this? You're seeing history right here. These were built probably like 2,000 years ago when the Mayans were here. Simply amazing. In the park there are more ruins that we can check out as well. Let's continue the show. Hop on! We have arrived at the Solarian Lighthouse. Look at that! Here we go, 133 steps. <laughs> wow, <laughs> it's a little tough coming up those steps, but the view is totally worth it. And as you can see, it's a pretty tight squeeze. So let's head back down and continue the fun. I don't know what to do, Playa or Laguna. Why not do both? It looks like we made it just in time for the boat tour. Right now they are offering them at one and two o'clock and they go around Laguna, Colombia. The best part is the boat ride is included in your $16 entrance fee. This place offers so much to do. It can be an all day activity or a quick couple hours stop in. I would definitely put this on your list when you're coming to Cozumel. Watch that cabeza. <laughs> Moving. Let's keep it moving. <laughs> There's a crocodile. a crocodile. Let's continue the fun. Right across from where the boat is, is the beach. We're on a bit of a time crunch today. So we actually have to run to show you the next spot, but this looks like a gorgeous place to spend a whole day. Let's keep going. We were just driving out and the lady that we met on the way in waved us down and there's a huge boa constrictor in the tree. They just had to relocate from one of the businesses. Yeah, that's super cool. And it's really beautiful. She said a lot of the animals here, the crocodiles, the raccoons, the snakes, are rescued and they release them here. Hasta luego, Punta Tor. Our emotions were getting kind of high, so we have to make a pit stop. And I think this is a pretty cool spot to do it. This is the Rasta Bar. We've heard such great things about it. Let's head in and check it out. Yeah, man. <laughs> While we were eating, we noticed down here on the beach, there is water that's crashing into the shore and exploding up. Looks like something that might be a good opportunity to not only cool down, but get some cool video. Come along with us. Put on your bathing suit. We might get a little wet. 
You can see the water erupting. Be careful though because it is rocky and like pokey. Don't fall. Now that I'm refreshed, let's keep going. Hasta la playa. We have made it to Chen Rio. If you're looking for a local public beach, come to the east side of the island. This is where you'll find it. It's free. They do rent like chairs and umbrellas and all that. There's food around. There's surfing schools. It has everything. And we haven't mentioned this. We were kind of surprised when we got here and we were expecting sandy beaches around the entire island, but it's mostly rocky. So there are a few spots like here at Chen Rio where you'll find that white sand, but you kind of have to look for it. And Rio has the most sand I've seen anywhere on the island. Yeah, come along with us to check it out. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> Where are you going home, friend? I'm floating away. No, really, I'm floating away, guys. Whoa. <laughs> All right, let's stay on track. Where are we going next? Ooh, I'm glad you asked. We have a, another really special beach bar for you. You're not gonna wanna miss it. We saw this thing cross the road. I don't know what it was. It looked like a raccoon, but not a raccoon, like mixed with a luwak, if you know what that is. Yeah, I, I don't know, but it looked cool. Man, that sun is warm. I could really use a nice refreshing beverage. Let's check out this place, Mescalitos. It's like the coolest dive bar. Yeah. They have the license plates from all different states. They have funny signs up like no farting. Yeah, and over here it says horny zone. <laughs> right next to the nude beach sign. Yeah. It, it's just like a fun place. You sit down on the water. There's good vibes going on for sure. And Adam, show them what you got. I got some Mont. We've been seeing families all over Mexico drinking giant bottles of this yeah. since we got here like five months ago. It's apple flavored soda. It's like Martinelli's apple juice with bubbles. It's so delicious. It's a good thing we didn't find it five months ago. You are geniuses in Mexico. <laughs> I love it and I'm addicted now. And what's really cool about Mezcalitos right now, it's turtle nesting season. So all along the perimeter, there are huge turtle nests and they're leatherback turtle nests. If you know about the leatherback turtle, it's the biggest turtle in the world. And so the nests are, I don't know, six foot across. Easily. About one out of every thousand eggs actually makes it to adulthood. So each one, each turtle you see is actually a miracle all by itself. Thanks for coming with us to Mescalitos. Stick with us, the fun is not even close to being over. Now that our thirst is quenched, let's go get ruined. Mayan ruined. Vamos. Who's cooler, us or them? Hi. Woo! We're like dumb and dumber. <laughs> you can't triple stamp a double stamp, Lloyd. <laughs> okay, Harry. So unfortunately, the ruins are closed because of the pandemic, and we were just sitting here taking a little break and this beautiful pup came out here, so <laughs> it's not all bad. But I'm sure they might be opening soon. The cruise ships have returned, so check it out when you come here if you want to learn a bit about the Mayan history, which we think is extremely important. So we're going to continue on. Yeah, so that sign, Pueblo de Maiz, we've been seeing it. And Everywhere. I'm like, what is that? It's the town of corn. It's like kind of freaking me out. I keep thinking children of the corn. Are people like driving around <laughs> in corn mobiles? I, I, that is ridiculous, Adam. I, no I know one it's is driving ridiculous. around in a corn mobile. Are there giant corn tortillas here? I don't know. I'm just curious. Is there popcorn? Does it rain popcorn in this town? I don't know. <laughs> Me neither, so let's go and see what's going on. Let's do it. Let me start this baby up and... and stop being so corny. What? <laughs> That's like my shtick. <laughs> do you smell popcorn? Mmm, <laughs> I love popcorn. We're gonna turn around. We don't know where this road goes and there are some dogs and 
They were just running after us and I don't want to get bitten. Why are you making it so hard for me to go to the corn town? <laughs> okay, let's go back. <laughs> we have to go past these dogs too. I'm gonna put my legs up. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Here's the other one. There he comes. Oh, thank god. <laughs> Turns out this is not a town made out of corn. Very disappointed. It doesn't <laughs> rain corn here. People aren't driving around in giant corn cobs with wheels. You can actually come here and learn the history of Mayans. I'm king of the corn! One of our favorite things about Mexico is that there are VW beetles everywhere. We play a little game. Whenever you see one, instead of a slug, you get a hug. And if you see two at one time, you get a kiss. No, there's only one here. <laughs> but in Oaxaca, for instance, you can be on a corner and look around and see five at one time. I don't know, what, what do you get when you get five? I don't know, it's probably not appropriate <laughs> to talk about here. I think the next time you see a VW bug, instead of giving a slug, give a hug. Give a hug. <laughs> All that talk about corn sure made me hungry. What about you? Me too. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> so let's head back downtown, change out of these clothes, head to dinner. We'll be back in a... All right, Chicos, it is time for sunset. We just changed and we are now gonna head out to a beautiful restaurant that one of the locals here told us about. So come along with us. We would love to share this with you. We have just arrived to Sereno. It is up there. The view is gonna be incredible. To access the restaurant, you have to go in through Albatross Suites. So come along with us. Let's check it out. Oh yeah, they have rooms here and that beautiful pool down there I just showed you. It's stunning, so we're gonna go up to the third floor. You want a table for two? Yeah, that would be awesome. Please follow. Wow, this place looks so good. The view from up here is so nice. It's panoramic. It's starting off very nice, and we've heard that the food is 10 out of 10 too, so I can't wait to try it out. the prettiest drinks I've seen in a long time. I got the agave sunset, which is a mezcal drink, and Adam got a blueberry mojito. I never <laughs> even heard of such a thing, but it's, it's delicious. It's incredible. Mm. I wish you could taste it. Wow. This is house-made lebna, which is a cheese made from yogurt. Let me try that out. You're gonna love this. Here, have a bite. Mm. That is so good. We have to come to this place. Oh look, the sun's about to set. Well, today was pretty wonderful. <laughs> Man, it was just packed with so many fun activities. Yeah, we had so much fun with you here on Casa Bell. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to bling, bling, bling the bell. And if you're in the area, check out our Cancun, Isla Mujeres, and Isla Holbosch videos. They are a ton of fun. And keep your eyes peeled. We have a lot more content from Casa Bell coming to you too. Thanks again. We'll see you next time. Adios.